Hey there, Lorinda here. I'm going to use a tool, a web app called HelloSign to sign a W9. It has a free version, which is three documents a month. And so if you're just doing a one-off kind of thing, um, like sending someone a W9, this will be the perfect app for that. What you'll want to do is in the part where the requester is, just don't put any name in there, and then you'll be able to send to many people um, the same W9. So what we are doing here is we just clicked on up, um, Upload Document, get a copy of the W9 from the IRS website, so you will have one. You can upload files from Dropbox or um, um, Google Drive and places like that, which is kind of neat. That's how I first learned about it because it was integrated with Google Drive um, years ago, like in 2010 or so when I first started using this application. So once the file is uploaded, you want to use these tools up at the top to drag into place and type in your information. If you notice in the upper right corner there is a little blue indicator that comes up that is it's saving your work along the way so you don't have to worry about losing anything. You do want to sign up for the account um, though because like I said, you do get um, up to three a month. So that's really good for something like this. So on this one here, you put in your name on the top line. And if you are doing it as a company, then you put that on the second line. If you're doing it as a company, you may want to use your EIN instead of your social security number. But you can always, even with an LLC, really, you could use your social security number because it does not matter at all. So I'm just doing a demonstration here. Um, you can also drag in, when you're dragging in the text fields, then you can move them once you get them typed into. <laughs> and there I blurred out my address, but I had already put that in there, so... Okay, that's a secret. Um, there you go. So I'm just getting those things in there and moving them just right. And somebody is texting me two pieces. So for the EIN here, I just typed in the numbers. And then I kind of just used the space bar to get the, get the numbers um, where I need it for them to be just off of the line so that they're just legible right so I'm just moving moving them over getting them in there and there you go so when you're done with that you can drag in the signature block you can draw it in type it in or if you have an up um, a scan of, a, of your signature that you've always used then um, I mean, that, that you've used before. So you can just put that in there and that will show up on the document. Okay, you can also use your smartphone to do it. So, you know, there's a lot of ways to get your signature in there. Okay, drag in the date. That's going to be auto populated for you. Click on continue and you'll be taken back to the home page here where you where um, you just fill out who is getting this document you can also send it um, you can also decide to send it to yourself and you can put a little message on there as well so we're gonna send that and then uh, it will come in your email and their email and you have a signed document You'll notice at the top here, there is a place that you can download it and also forward it. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Bye for now.